We're still three weeks away from setting our clocks back for the end of daylight saving time. But as CBS News co congressional correspondent Scott McFarlane reports, setting our clocks ahead and back every few months could soon be a thing of the past if some lawmakers have their way. For Jen Schaefer, a high school teacher raising her energetic twin 22-month-old daughters, Leela and Willa, there are two other precious commodities, time you and see sleep. See where is she at? When you see daylight saving coming on the calendar, you excited or do you dread it? Oh, I dread it. It's definitely going to throw a curveball at us and it's going to mess us up for the next few days, even a week. The twice a year changing of the clock, springing forward for daylight saving time for spring, summer, and early fall, spread in the U.S. during World War I to conserve energy for the war effort. And was stretched even later into November, nearly 15 years ago, as part of an energy saving bill championed by Michigan Congressman Fred Upton. It particularly with global warming, climate change, it's real. Uh, why not take advantage of that extra hour of sunlight? This is something that should be bipartisan. It Congress put daylight saving back in the spotlight this year. In a formal hearing, the House Energy Committee heard testimony the clock changing is linked to increased risk of depression, stroke, and sleep disruption. And not just for sleepy moms of young twins, says Children's National Hospital sleep expert Dr. Tyish Hall-Brown. We have an internal kind of rhythm to our, our body and to our health. And every time we move forward or backwards, that has to adjust as well. And making people aware of the harm that clock switching has. We In March, without warning, the U.S. Senate, by unanimous consent, passed legislation to make daylight saving permanent as of 2023 and to put a halt to the clock changing if the U.S. House and the president agreed. But Congressman Upton says the effort will likely come up short in the House, partly because some are concerned in the western section of time zones, permanent daylight saving could make for some very dark late mornings. Those school buses would be running in the dark if we didn't change the clocks. Not only would they be running in the dark, the kids probably would be in second or third hour while it was still dark. Go get her! As for Jen Schaefer, time change or not, rest will always be a little bit more elusive. It's just a huge learning curve. And when you think you know something, when you think you have it figured out, of course, then they hit that next milestone or that next stage and we have to relearn it all. Where are you running off to? With less than three months remaining in this Congress, supporters of this idea to make daylight saving time permanent are running out of time. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Scott McFarland at the Capitol. My only thing with the going to school in the dark, I know that Jack goes to school so early now, that's going to happen practically anyway. Yeah. So what difference does that make? Yeah, I say hold on to our traditions. We're losing so many of them. Oh, so oh, you're against Oh, you're... You oh, want to no. keep doing it. I, I, look, like, if keep I had to do it, I can't these and all youngsters that stuff. do it. Oh. Wow, that's... Wow. Ooh, I mean, are you with me? I'm like... Do away I think with so, it. yeah. I, I understand some of the issues. But... We'll fight. We'll brawl. Ooh. Yeah. Might happen. Oh. You need to you need to like punch across the table and not just like do this thing. Uh, well.